take a trip, find some friends, find a seat, find your power animal. This is awesome. So is this, and this, and that. Have a beer, start a fight, and make everyone wish they were only in Minnesota. Courtside at MSG in the heart of Manhattan. Thrilled you're with us on this late afternoon. It's the NIT tip-off, Minnesota and Georgia on the Gopher Radio Network. Matthew with it out front on the inbound. Gives to King, right of the arc, back to Matthew out front. Left side Morris, another open freeze in the air, and good. Playing in the garden, man, it was great. Growing up, that's all you heard about was Madison Square Garden, Madison Square Garden, and being able to have the chance to play, that was great. Jurisic, he lost the ball, stolen away, another turnover. Here comes Morris, into the corner to Matthews. Tight roping the baseline, in with a reverse lamp and a beauty. Yeah, and all starts on defense by Carlos Morris, able to come up with that steal and get going in transition, a beautiful finish. Georgia game was great. It was a good, really good bounce back game for us on, on one day prep, uh, especially after the St. John's uh, loss. DeAndre Matthew really set the tone with his passing. Uh, Mo Walker had a great, great bounce back game. So it was good, we did a really lot of good things. Gives left side to Holland. Collins, good look to Elias, and layup there, and a foul. Georgia was a really hard-nosed, uh, grid and grind type driving team. They, they really drive the ball. That's what their point of emphasis was, was just getting in the paint, get some paint touches, uh, you know, getting trying to get to the hole, get some easy layups, and our uh, main thing was to stop that. Lobs ahead for Matthew behind the defense. A layup is there. Andre Hollins with it. Oh, nice move into the paint. Kicks into the corner for King. Wide open, looks three, got it. Playing against Georgia, man, we, we locked in defensively. Coming off a loss to St. John's, we wanted to regroup, stay together, and bounce back. King, an open look three left side, and he got it. It was the first time we really did a good job imposing our will against a power conference team for a full 40 minutes. And, you know, while we did give up a lead towards the end of the game, uh, we still made some big time plays on defense and then converted those defensive stops uh, to points on offense. So. Just seeing us put it all together for a win against a power conference team really felt good. We're courtside at the Lawrence Joel Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Tonight, 4-2 and two Minnesota tackles 4-3 and three Wake Forest. Pass ahead for Matthew. The Gophers a 3-on-2. DeAndre, one-hand pass to King. The layup is good. And now here's another steal. Carlos Morris into the paint with a steal. He goes coast to coast, leans in, layup good. Now to King. Here's a three left side. Got it. Minnesota leads it 13 to four. Going into Lake Forest, we knew that'd be a hungry team coming off a loss from Iona. We just had to match their intensity, still impose our will on them, and lock in our defense. DeAndre to the free throw line, Pivich, 14 footer straight on, and he curled it through. We want to get offense off our defense. You know, our barometer is how many deflections we have. We came into that first time out and we already had 12 deflections, which was great. I think the pressure really affected them uh, with, with the steals we had. We had. Whenever we can get 10 plus steals, you know, that's a lot of possessions that are taken away from the other team. Here's Mason, a high arcing shot that's good from the left side. It all starts in the offensive end, like fantastic running teardrop floater by Nate Mason. At the beginning of the Wake Forest game, we um, shared the ball well. We moved the ball, shared it well, drive and kick. We were playing together as a team. Roundtree, stutter steps, got in, got knocked down, got the bucket to go, and a three-point play chance. Just like that, it's a four-point game. You know, they're, they're uh, destined to make a run at home, and good basketball teams don't just give up. But I think we uh, really imposed our will on them and kept it on them. Yeah, we knew, you know, going on the, on the road in the ACC, it, it's never, never easy. We did a good job. We turned them over 18 times. We got out on the break 37 times. You know, we let them back in a little bit at the end of the first half, but the first two minutes of the second half really set the tone. Jin bound to Matthew in the backcourt, and he will bring it up when we're underway here in half number two. Here's Andre Holland, step back three is good. Good way to start the half. Gives ahead now for Matthew, who moves his way into the offensive end. Hand back to Hollins, another three in the air. Got it again! 
When you start doubting Andre Hollins, he's going to make a lot of people feel stupid, to be honest with you, because he's a heck of a basketball player. You know, he had pl been playing at a high level for us the whole time, so small sample size for him in New York. He's going to have a great year, and he really got us going uh, against Wake Forest, especially in the second half. Here's Andre Hollins on the inbound. A three is good. He has been on fire. You know, it was great to, you know, have an offensive breakout like that. Uh, especially after kind of struggling offensively uh, in, in the two games in New York. You know, I have to uh, credit Coach, too, for calling. Uh, he called a couple plays, so, uh, you know, he got me some open shots. One three, got it again! Once he gets it going, Mike, he's just so confident. So after losing our first one to St. John's, we knew we had to come back and get these next two because we really don't want to lose more than two games in the non-conference. So it was really important for us to, you know, come in, get two big wins before we head in into this stretch of December. Anytime you beat a team from a power conference, you know, like Georgia in the SEC, like Wake Forest on the road in the ACC, it's going to help. It definitely helps your RPI. So, you know, Georgia win was great. Going on the road at Wake Forest and, and winning convincingly was great. But now we just have to take it one game at a time you know, protect our home court and get ready.